Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Sarah. I'm a geologist. And today I'd like to talk, you, talk to you about my passion in renewable energy and how it led me to fall in love with Ruby and Rails. So if you um, hear the term renewable or renewable energy, I bet what you think about is solar, wind, maybe nuclear or um, biomass or hydro. But did you know that there is another type of renewable energy that's called geo? So geo means earth and thermal means heat. So it's a type of renewable energy that's coming from the earth's underground heat. And I'm really passionate about this. In fact, that was the reason why I get into geology in the first place. Uh, and it's because it has so much potential. Um, so for instance, uh, renew uh, geothermal is reliable. It gives out 24-7 energy output for decades. So it's good if you want to power entire city or even entire country. Um, the problem with solar, for instance, it's, it's inevitable that you cannot generate power for at least half a day. And even with wind, um, the weather is very hard to predict and therefore it's very hard to have a consistent energy output every single time. Um, geothermal also use very small amount of land because the way that you access the heat underground is by um, adding wells uh, to, to the underground. And you can add these wells as you go, so it's scalable. And also it's clean. The only byproduct of it is water. Now, if, if it is so cool, then why are we rarely heard of it? Well, it's because unfortunately it's still expensive. So therefore not very competitive compared to other um, renewables. But I see this as a challenge because this is what we've been, uh, it is not a new problem. In fact, solar was um, having the same issue up until they become cheap enough to be uh, ubiquitous. And also even uh, Brian in the Rails um, keynotes, he mentioned a similar thing in the cloud space. So I was obsessed with this problem for a good year and one of the things that I realized is that uh, we can help lower the cost of geothermal by um, lowering the cost of the access of its data. So geological data, geophysical, geochemical data, environmental data, things like that. And that brings me to how I met your mother, which is how I met Ruby and Rails. <laughs> um, I'm actually not a stranger with software. In fact, I, was a, I am a product manager. And that in my old company, we use um, single page application. We built a single, single page application with multiple databases on microservices architecture with agile framework. So for this one, I'd like to try something else, please. And um, it's amazing how now I can actually build the thing and it feels a sort of a miracle. And what I learned along the way is that programming, especially in Ruby, is super fun. And also, I was intimidated by how much I should learn. But what I figured is that to make something useful, I don't need to know everything about programming. And in the same way, I don't need to know all the rocks in the world to be a good geologist. Uh, and also, I, I was glad I'm, 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 I believe in my mission of, in geothermal because it does lead to many, many wonderful things. Uh, for instance, being able to talk with you, uh, with you all today. Um, in RailsCon. So I want to say again, thank you very much for wel welcoming me to the community. And I hope I see you guys again on the other side. Bye. -bye.